Alright, and love everyone. Welcome back to my channel, to the I Serve Realness channel. I like, unlike a lot of YouTube uh, YouTube uh, bloggers, they be like, oh, join the channel, subscribe, share it, all that other good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be like them. Do all of that. <laughs> Why did you stop texting me?
thing to, I'm a writer. It's one thing to write my answers back to questions or scenarios or situations. And it's another thing to like be put on a spot like this and just be so open to film it and, and you guys see my honest like reaction and opinions. So that's like kind of awkward for me, but I don't mind it. Um, my, oh, recently. So I was in the, fr I was, it was me, a friend, her girlfriend, and someone else that was in the car that, you know, I had just started talking to, not like, you know, crazy or anything like that, or a relationship or nothing like that, but just started talking to whatever like that. And um, my friend's girlfriend was like, yo, I want to, let me, because I, I have an iPhone and I hook it up to my car and I don't really listen to the music. I just play the songs on my, on my, in my library or whatever. So she's playing, so I gave her my phone, so she's playing all these boys to men songs like, she played Pass You By, she played um, Bend Down on, uh, on Bended Knee, she played I'll Make Love To You, she played um, Till The End Of The Road, and so I turned after, and those are my songs, so I'm jamming, I'm singing, we all sitting here singing, and da, 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 da. and so they're sitting in the back, whatever, so I turned the song down, and I was like, yo, you love my friend, like, are y'all in love or whatever like that, and she was like, what you mean? Like, what, what do do you love her? Talking to the girl that was in the front seat. I mean, I was like, whoa! Don't answer that. Number one, it's not even like that between us. Uh, number two, I'm not the one sitting here trying to make love to the end of the road to the end of the road on bended knee. So, I'm just it's just a valid question. So she was like, yeah, I love. Her. I was like, oh, that's what you had to say, or whatever. So <laughs> my friend was like, awkward. I was like, oh wait, was that your first time? She was like. That was the first time she told me she loved me. I was like, oh. So I felt kind of bad because I took all the romance out of it. Like, I was, it was a random question. Like, who plays? Now, and, and again, those are all classic songs from Boys to Men. So I'm like, who, not, but who the heck is, like, why is, why is she playing all these songs? Like, is she going through something? Is she trying to say that she loved, like, I, it was just a random question. And come to find out, I mean, she do loves her. She, she does love her, so. Um, so. Earlier this year, me trying to explore and maximize my singleness because I had been in a relationship for over three years with someone and um, trying to get back out there. So I signed up for this app called Her, which is a lesbian uh, dating app, right? So I signed up for it or whatever. And um, I started talking to this one girl. She, she requested me or whatever like that. We started talking. Um off the app or whatever, well, we started talking on the app, and we started talking, you know, off the app via phone or whatever like that, and, um, we talking, we talking, we talking for a couple of weeks, she was like, you know, let me take you out to lunch or whatever like that, I'm like, all right, cool, so I, you know, go to lunch with her or whatever like that, and if she's watching this, I'm not blowing you, I'm not saying your name, but it is what it is, because whatever, but, uh, we talking, we having a conversation, and she asked for, she asked the, the, the waitress for like some soda water or whatever like that. And in my head, because I'm a bartender too, so I'm like, who the heck just randomly order, orders soda water? Like if anything, they order tonic water because it has a better taste. But maybe to cut the calories, soda water, whatever like that. To make a long story short, Shorty pulled out her teeth and put them in the damn soda water right before her food came. Yes. She took out her, she was like, and just dropped them in the soda water. Number one, I got questions because why would you take your teeth out to eat? Don't you need your teeth to eat? Number two, I felt like I was being pricked by Ashton Kutcher. Like, I was like, oh shit, like this is real. This is real. This is real. Like, I never thought that it would get that real. I literally had to get up and just walk out. Like, I put my money down on from, you know, because we had a few drinks or whatever like that. I ordered a salad. I told the kids for the salad, put my money down on the table, and I had to get up and leave. Because I could not believe. To this day, my mother laughs at me. And when I tell this story, they laugh. It also have been my most awkward, the whole making love to the end of the road on bended knee and then shorty pulling out her teeth. I think shorty pulling out her teeth was the most awkward for me. For sure. And I was just like, yeah, I'm done. I'm cool. What are your greatest strengths and weaknesses? I would say the fact that I talk too much. And the fact that I talk so much. Let me preface by saying that. The fact, the fact that I talk so much. Um, it's a strength because you'll always know where I'm at, how I feel, and what I'm thinking. 
but not all the time of what I'm thinking. Like, I talk really fast. I think coming from New York, that's just what we do. But what I say and how I say it, it's only a fraction of what I'm actually thinking. But um, that's my strength. And the re I wouldn't, I I'd call it a, a weakness only because if I'm talking so much, that means I'm not really listening that much. So that's why I would say, yo, can I get to know you? Who are you? Page is private. Can't really see anything. You have nice teeth though. I don't know you. So, I mean, your page is private. Advice on how I should pursue my crush. I really think I like her, but I don't want to come off as me sweating her too hard. Oh, yeah. Straight up. I, I understand you. I feel you. Yo, not for nothing. In life and in love, life and love, and I'm not trying to get all deep and sentimental with you guys, but there is no room for pride. If you have a crush on this person, tell her. And, you know, and, and, and I know you don't ever want to feel like you're sweating somebody, but if you like somebody, tell them. If you're thinking about somebody, call them or text them. Because life is literally too short for you not to. That's all I'm going to say about that. Do you have a favorite instrument? I do. It is the guitar. I love the guitar. Um, I have my moments where I love the electric guitar more than I love the acoustic. Or then I love more of the acoustic than I love the electric. Like, I just love the guitar point blank period. I actually own an acoustic guitar that I'm actually trying to learn how to play. I've had it for years. It was a gift to me from almost eight years ago. What are the hot spots in clubs in ATL? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there are clubs, but unless I'm barting at them, I don't. I'm not in them, so. How would you define your style? Um, casual chic. Uh, it, it depends. Sometimes I'm bohemian. Sometimes I'm just casual and athletic wear. Sometimes I dress it up. Like I, It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. I remember all of your dance. Oh, my gosh! I remember all of your dance rehearsals from our school show. Do you still dance ballet, modern, jazz, and tap? This is what I'm talking. I told y'all. Uh, no, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you up right after this video. I'm gonna hit you up. Oh my gosh! I I I, I, I do yoga. I don't dance uh, ballet, modern, jazz, and tap at all. Um, it's so fun. I was just thinking about the little routine we did for Romeo and Juliet. Um, oh my gosh! I love you so much. Um, I don't dance like that anymore, but I do want to start taking more classes. Where the hell did you come from? Oh my gosh. Just requested you as a friend. I didn't even know you was following me. <coughs> my heart is filled. What is one of your favorite love movies? Twilight. Twilight. Um, in particular... Twilight Saga Part 1 and Part 2. I love Edwin and Be Bella and Jacob. Like, I know it's a vampire movie, but it's like one of the most beautiful love stories ever. How can I let my best friend know I like her without actually telling her I like her? I'm actually in love with her. Oof. But I feel so empty that she doesn't know. The thing is, I'm not trying to feel rejected, plus I don't want to ruin our friendship. Number one, I know all too well about you. I, I, do, I do not like the feeling of rejection. But the beautiful thing about rejection and when you're rejected is that something else is born within you. You, you really do discover your strengths and, and, and they're pulled out of you instead of your weaknesses. Because the reason why we don't want to be rejected is because we feel weak. No, when, I, when actually the opposite happens. It's like when you're weak, then you're strong. One of those oxymoron type of things. So I completely get it. But if that's your best friend, you have to tell your best friend. Because it's not fair. Because your best friend should know you. And... You hiding that or keeping that from them means that there's a part of you that they don't know. So it's not fair to them. And then it's not fair to you because you're holding it all that in or whatever like that. So it may get awkward. It may, you know, it, it, I don't want to say ruin your friendship. It may shift it, but you have to live in your truth. You have to live in your purpose. Um, I remember I had someone that I consider like a best friend. She was like my role dog. I loved her so much. We, we loved fashion. We went shopping together. We talked about her boyfriend. We talked about my boyfriend at the time. Then, you know, she was into women. She was legit bisexual. I was If I was dating a guy, I was dating a guy. If I was dating a girl, I was dating a girl. I never went back and forth. Um, but she knew me back when I when I did have a boyfriend. And then I started dating women or whatever like that. And um, 
again, I kind of felt like she did, like she had a crush on me, even though she never told me. But I kind of felt like she had a crush on me. And then, think, and then because I didn't want to ruin it, I guess I just distanced myself because I didn't look at her that way. As beautiful as she is, I just didn't look at her that way. Um, so I kind of distanced myself a little bit. And I mean, we don't talk nowadays, but I always love her. Like if I was to see her in the street, I would probably just cry and hug and love her to death. And we probably just pick up like that because that's how strong our friendship was. So I advise you to at least tell your best friend. Um, and be willing and open to be accepted for whatever their reaction is. If their reaction is they don't feel like that that way about you, then you have to, it's going to hurt. I ain't, I'm not going to lie, oh, you'll get over it. No, it's going to hurt like shit. Be okay with it. Don't try to force anything on them. Don't try to force any emotion on them. Don't try to, do, don't, don't try to be doing cute things or try to look cute in front of them or trying to change their mind. <coughs> Just accept it. Hurt on it. And then move on and then hopefully you guys can, you know, continue the friendship. Um, be willing and open that she might distance herself from you. Doesn't mean that she loves you any less. She just may need time to process. And if the opposite works out where she is on board and she feels the same way about you, yeah, even better. But always remember that friendship that you guys had. And always remember your individuality too. Please. What's your favorite, what, what is your favorite quote? Oh my gosh, I have so many favorite quotes. quotes. I think the last one came from the, the last one that I thought about came from the movie like Bruce Almighty or Evan Almighty that came out like over a decade ago. It was like if you want to you want to see a miracle, if you want to know what a miracle looks like, be the miracle. Simple, but you know. Oh, and another one by Pastor Mike Todd. He said, "How you how you wait affects how long you wait." Meaning that's the patience. How you wait if you're just grunting and crumbling and complaining about stuff like that, you're gonna wait longer until you learn whatever lesson it is supposed to that, that you're supposed to learn so if you if you wait in pain and you just making it so painful you won't be in pain for a long time of, of, opposed to if you wait in joy you'll get out of that situation a bit quicker so how you wait affects how long you wait by pastor mike todd he's a baby amazing look him up on youtube transformation church so popular what do you do or say when you get nervous like what makes you nervous um Whenever I'm nervous, or not, I, I wouldn't say nervous, when I, I'm trying to talk my way in or out something, I find myself saying things of that nature. I don't know where that came from, but, you know, things of that nature. It came from me in interviews. Like, when I usually, because I, I love, I've been interviewing for corporate jobs for a while, and I've always had a corporate job. But when I don't know what I'm talking about, I always, and things of that nature. Like, I'll put a bullet point in there and then suck it in right in with things of that nature. Or if I'm, uh, when I get really, really nervous and I'm trying to, slow myself down from talking i say things of that nature but um things that get me nervous too is like if i'm interested in somebody or like you know that that kind of cute little phase when y'all just starting to get to know each other or whatever like that and you ask me all these questions and um they say oh, i'm just trying to get to know you better i don't know why but that sends the little tingles and the butterflies and i just get like OD nervous like I'll either start rambling like mumbling real quick or I'll just sit there think hope if they're not in my face Lord if they're not in my face thank God because I'm probably cheesing from ear to damn ear but it's like a good nervous like what do I say after that like so you're trying to get to know me well, I'm trying to get to know you too that's corny that's whack oh you're trying to get to know me all right what what and things of that nature <laughs> two more questions and I'm gonna have to peace out what's the hardest prayer you ever prayed oh that's a good question um one of the hardest prayers I've ever prayed was praying to let someone go that didn't want to be kept uh that I didn't want to let go of uh just that that prayer of help me just let them go help me not to want to want them help me to just literally let them go. Um, that was all, that's been one of the hardest prayers. Like when you care so much about somebody and you love someone so much and you not praying that things get better, you're praying that you just stop wanting them and that you can actively, physically, mentally, and emotionally let them go so that they can be better and that they can be happy. Um, and that you in turn too can be happy as well. That has been one of the most hardest prayers that I think I've ever prayed. All right, this is going to be the last question.
why don't you dress up anymore? There's nothing wrong with how you dress, but compared to your MySpace, your MySpace days, you just seem way more comfortable. First and foremost, MySpace. MySpace, really? You've been following me, and we've been following each other. I don't follow you on Instagram, though. I see I don't follow you. Um, we, you've been, come on now, MySpace. First of all, MySpace days, I was always in the clubs in MySpace. That's why I always look dressed up, okay? But those are the pictures that you've seen on MySpace. I was always in Langston's, um, Hoops, um, Elton, the, the Elton, the Elks. Uh, like, I was always in somebody's club on my, during my MySpace days. So, and I was always in heels and in dresses and stuff like that. That's why you see me dressing like that. But in regular, 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 regular day life, I was always in some sneakers. Like, I was always in kicks. When I felt like kicking it, I kicked it. When I felt like pumping it, I pumped in my heels. But come on now. Um, again, this goes back to the fact that my style, like, I, uh, my, my life is more casual now. I'm not in the clubs unless I'm making money from them. I'm not, I'm not partying like that. Um, when I do go out and I put on my heels and stuff like that and I wear dresses because I, I just, it depends on how I feel. Sometimes I, I wake up and I want to be extra pristine and prissy and some days I just want to be regular and, and comfortable. But my life revolves really around work and working out and then being a yoga instructor. So it's like, I, there's no reason for me to really be in dresses all the time. And I don't know if you meant that as a compliment or as a or a shade, but it don't come for me. Don't 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 do it. Nah. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna have to answer the rest of the questions at another time because it's just been like too crazy. But anyway, thank you so much, guys, for uh, tuning in. Thank you for your questions. I appreciate you all. Um. Please do uh, hit the notification button and that bell or whatever like that so that you do know when I do post more videos. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, share like the videos so whatever like that um follow me on my social media platforms at i serve realness across the board it's just at i serve realness on twitter instagram snapchat facebook all the other stuff like that and uh thank you again so much for watching until next time peace light and love